Hola, clase. Here we go. Vamos a practicar. You've been working on some new vocabulary and the present progressive concept. Let's put it together and make some sentences. But before we do, take some time to review your 6B vocabulary and your notes on present progressive. Make sure you're real comfortable with all of it. Um, if you need to, you can go back and rewatch videos or you can message me or send me an email with questions. Pause the video to do that now. Okay, now that you're ready and confident, saca una hoja de papel and number it uno a dieciocho, one through eighteen. We're going to do eighteen sentences. Before we do, let's just refresh ourselves on the verb estar. Remember, we use estar for feeling and conditions, uh, emotions and so forth, location and position, and we also use it for things that we're doing like actions hint hint present progressive what we're doing right now so that's why we're going to be using a stud in these sentences because they're going to be sentences in the present progressive things we are doing right now so to say i am we say yo that's right estoy how about you are informal you tu estás how about she is he is or you formal are that's right ella el or usted está Remember, uh, also, we would use esta for it is, if it's a singular it, just one thing. How about we are? Nosotros estamos. How about they are, or you all are? Ellos, ellas, or ustedes están. That's right. Notice how estar follows a regular AR verb conjugation pattern, except for the stuff in red, those accents on the A's and the Y at the end of the O form. Uh, if you're itching to know, vosotros form would be vosotros estáis. A with an accent, I-S, the ending there. Okay, let's refresh yourself on present progressive real quick. AR verbs, to say I am doing something, I'm going to take that stem, drop the AR, and add ando. So to say, for example, working, trabajar, drop the AR and add an ando, and we get trabajando. Say, if I'm wanting or desiring something, desear, drop the AR, and it's deseando. ER and IR verbs follow the same pattern, but with an I-E-N-D-O instead of an ando. So, to say, for example, uh, drinking, beber, becomes bebiendo. Recibir would become recibiendo. All right, I think we've got what we need to. Have that paper numbered 1 through 18, and here we go. A quick reminder when you're doing this um, don't don't wait to write it down until I give the answer write it down and see how you do this is just for you to check so you might as well go through the process and do it right to help yourself learn don't cut corners class all right numero uno is actually a question what are you doing and just to hint the order of the words of the question will be you are all right so to do let's see that's a said right so oh yeah doing add the drop the er us and then add the i e n d o haciendo okay haciendo is doing so k is what and you are or are you let's use the two form because their kids chatting they're probably going to use the informal form so k estas haciendo that's it class ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? All right, move, move on to number two. Oh, don't erase, by the way. If you make a mistake, just draw a line through it, write the correction. That way you can review and see your learning process. Número dos. ¿Cómo se dice chores? That's right. ¿Qué haceres? Los ¿qué haceres? How would you say this sentence? I am doing chores. Okay, let's see. There's doing again. We know that's, what was it? Oh, yeah, haciendo. Let's see. I am. That's right. Yo estoy haciendo los que haces. All right, class, I've walked you through a couple here. Um, get those down, and now I'll keep mom a bit and let you try the next ones on your own. Numero tres. Oh, let's see. What are they doing here? They're straightening up the room. Let's see. That would be... Oh, what was that? That's right. Arreglar el cuarto. To straighten the room. So, how would you write this sentence? They are straightening up the room on the second floor. Pause for a second and see if you can write this down. 
Okay, before you check it, I'll give you a hint. Second floor in Spanish is actually different because in Spanish they don't call the ground floor the first floor. They call it la planta baja and then they start numbering from there up. So what we would call the second floor, they actually call the first floor. So make sure you've got that represented in your sentence. Here we go. They is ellos. Are is done. Straightening up. Let's see. Arreglar. Drop the AR. Ando. Arreglando. El cuarto. Let's see. On the second floor. Oh yeah. This will be en el primer piso. There you go, class. All right. Muy bien. Numa, write any corrections and move it on to numero cuatro. Como se dice to help? Let's see. That's that's right. Ayudar. So how would you say this sentence? She is helping the boy. Pause. Write your sentence down. Okay. Let's check it. Ella está... Let's see, helping, ayudar, ayuda, ayudando, el chico. Now, just, uh, uh, you could have said el, el niño, and that would be just fine too. Just a, a little hint for you there. We, in Spanish, we probably say ayudando al chico with an A-L, um, because there's something called the personal A, which you learn about in Spanish too. I didn't throw it on here because I didn't want to muddy the waters for you, but just so you know, that'll be coming up. You'd probably say, ella está ayudando al chico. Um, you'll learn about that next year. All right, numero cinco. ¿Cómo se dice to cook? That's right. Cocinar. For this sentence, you also need to know how to say the kitchen. Hint, hint, it's related to the verb to cook. All right, give me this sentence. He is cooking dinner in the kitchen. Let's try it. El está cocinar, co cocinando. Dinner is la cena en la cocina. He is cooking dinner in the kitchen. Okay, numero seis. Oh, como se dice to mow the lawn? Hint, hint, to cut the lawn. That's it. Cortar el césped. By the way, did you know that cortar is related to the adjective corto, short, like short hair? Because if your hair is corto, it has been cut short. So I come for the same word. Now, give me this sentence. You, informal you, are cutting or mowing the lawn. Pause for a second. Write that sentence down. All right, let's check it. Two. Estás cortando el césped. That's it. Okay, numero siete. Well, ¿Cómo se dice to give? It's a short verb. That's right, dar. It's a regular air verb except for the yo form, which is yo doy. How would you say this sentence? You are giving a present. Let's do formal you, not to. Let's check it. To, or <clears throat> excuse me, usted está dando. And how do you say present? It starts with an R, reg, reg. That's it, regalo, un regalo. Usted está dando un regalo. Numero ocho. To feed the dog. Here's a hint. It's a phrase. To give, to eat the dog is what you're saying. That's it. Dar de comer al perro. You could feed other things too. Dar de comer al gato. Dar de comer a la niña. To feed the cat, feed the child, and so forth. Give me this sentence. We are feeding the dog. Pause and write it down. Alright, let's check it. We, nosotros, nosotros estamos dando de comer al perro and there you see that personal a ah again we're, we're giving food to the dog is what we're saying dar de comer al perro all right okay. to make the bed como se dice to make the bed that's it 
Same verb we saw before, hacer la cama. Now give me the sentence. I am making the bed. Pause and write it down. Okay, let's check it. Yo estoy hacer así, haciendo la cama. There you go. Muy bien. Número Almost there, class. Ooh, to wash. ¿Cómo se dice to wash? Así es. Lavar. Lavar el coche, to wash the car, los platos, the dishes, la ropa, clothes. The car, you could say auto or even carro as well. How would you say this sentence? You, plural, is in a group of you guys, are washing the car. Let's see. Pause and write it down. All right, here we go. Check your answer. Ustedes están lavando el coche. All right. Bien hecho. Número 11. Let's see. To clean the bathroom. Clean starts with L, just like lavar, but it's not lavar. That's to wash. This is to clean. Limpiar el baño. To clean the bathroom. How would you say this sentence? She is cleaning the bathroom. Pause and write it down. Let's see. Let's check it. Ella está limpiando el baño. That's it. Muy bien. Okay, here we are. To vacuum. Como se dice, dice to vacuum? Here's a hint. To pass the vacuum is how we say it. You're passing it along the floor. It's a cognate. That's right. Pasar la aspiradora. How would you say he is vacuuming? Pause and write it down. All right, check your answer. Él está pasando la aspiradora. He is vacuuming. Getting close. Número 13. To put. To put. ¿Cómo se dice to put? Put some toothpaste on the toothbrush or put that box on the shelf. That's right. Poner. It's mostly a regular ER verb, except the yo form, yo pongo. It's that one of those yogo verbs. Let's try a sentence. You are putting the box on the shelf. Let's go with the to form, informal. Pause and write it down. Oh, uh, let me give you a hint, sorry. Uh, if you're wondering, ¿cómo se dice the box? La caja. C-A-J-A. -A, la caja. And shelf, oh, what was that word? It starts with an E. Est, est, estante. That's right. Okay, let's check your answer. Tú estás poniendo la caja en el estante. Ooh, that's a mouthful. That's it. Only a few left. ¿Cómo se dice to set the table? I'll give you a hint. We're using the same verb we used on the last one. To put. Like you're putting stuff on the table. That's it. Poner la mesa. Give me this sentence. You, formal you, are setting the table in the dining room. Here's a hint for dining room. It comes from, it's connected to the verb to eat because it's the eating room, if that helps. Pause and write down your answer. Okay, let's check it. Usted está poniendo la mesa en el comedor. You are setting the table in the dining room. Muy bien. That's a good sentence. All right. Ooh, ¿cómo se dice to dust? And a reminder that pulverize is our cognate here, and it means to turn into dust. So if I want to remove dust, I would quitar el polvo, which is what that phrase means, remove the dust. How would you say this? They are dusting the home office or den. 
pause and write it down. All right, let's check your answer. Ellos están quitando el polvo del despacho. And at the end, they were saying, remove the dust from the den or from the home office. So that's why I say del, you know, from the office or home office. Ellos están quitando el polvo del despacho. All right, three left. Como se dice to take out the trash? That verb that we use for a lot of things, including to take pictures. That's right, sacar la basura, to take out the trash. Try this sentence. I am taking out the trash in the garage. Pause and write it down. Okay, now check your answer. Yo estoy sacando la basura en el garaje. Excellent. Look at all this vocabulary. Rolling. All right. Do you see? Oh, let's just, what's the, the adjective for clean? Here's a hint. It's very closely related to the verb to clean. That's right. Limpia or limpio. How would I say the stairs are clean? Don't forget to make the adjective agree with the noun. All right, let's check your answer. La escalera está limpia. And since escalera is feminine, make limpia feminine as well. If you're asking, why don't we say escaleras, Mr. Cox, because in English we say stairs, plural. Well, in Spanish, they just treat it as one unit. The You might call it the, the stairway or the set of stairs. Um, so just treat it singular. It, it would be under, perfectly understandable if you said las escaleras, and some people might even say that as well, but this is probably more common. All right. And see also, final sentence. Como se dice dirty? You got it, sucio or sucia. How would I say the basement is dirty? Ooh, como se dice basement? Mm. Let's see, it starts with an S. So, so. All right, let's check it. El sotano, that's right, está sucio. And remember, we're using está because we're talking about conditions here, or the state of being of the basement. All right, you got your sentences. Refresh yourself on these words real quick. Como se dice enough? Do you remember? That's right, bastante. How about this one? Como se dice which? Or which ones, if there's more than one you're talking about? Cuales, that's right. Como se dice money? You got it, dinero. El dinero. And como se dice a moment? Like how this picture captures a moment in time. Un momento. And you can use that also to ask for more time, like, un momento, por favor. One moment, please. Como se dice to receive? Hint, hint, it's a cognate. Hint, hint, it's an IR verb. Hint, hint, B and V are linguistically related. That's right, recibir. And como se dice if? Like, if I go this way or if I go that way. That's right, C without an accent. And what does what, um, C with an accent mean? That's right, it means yes. C, sí, si sí se puede. Clase, thanks for going through this practice. Give yourself a break and give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. Bien hecho.